school at the University of Washington. I study mechanical engineering. I'm going into my junior year and I'm the director of the UW Hyperloop team. Um, I've always wanted to do something that could change the world. So going into school, I kind of I've always liked math and science, and so it kind of steered me down along the path of engineering. So being able to do things that, at the end of the day, help people, um, kind of sought the right path for me. It kind of started. I've always had a, a thing for crafts, and so being able to do use my hands to build something that's cool. So I like to paint. I like to draw. I like to build things. Um, so that's always been super cool. And I used to take my brother's Legos and put those together. Kind of the obvious thing that every engineer says. But kind of in high school, I started with. Um, they had these videos that we'd watch in science class. Um, they would they build roller coasters, and I was like, that's super cool. Uh, so I kind of started like thinking about building roller coasters and then kind of went through um, different things. My junior year of high school I participated in a program, um, I call it Space Camp, and so we went, um, we, me and 40 other students, also high school juniors, um, participated in this program. We built a mock mission to Mars and after that program I kind of decided, hey, this is kind of what I want to do um, and then kind of went from there. I got into college and started, um, started taking classes, getting good grades, and then I I was like, I need to do something else other than class, and so that's how we kind of started Hyperloop. Um, I started last September and um, kind of jumped in. My first day was a 12, 14 hour day, um, and just kind of jumped straight in feet first and kind of ran with it and um, started basically not knowing anything about anything. I couldn't use a power drill. Um, and now, um, kind of where I'm at, I, um, gonna, I've started to be a director. I have a, a couple fellow directors at the club. Um, um, and we work together to get a team of about 30 students, both business and engineering. Um, uh, currently at Competition 2, I completely uh, designed, built, and tested the entire propulsion unit for our pod. So that's all done by me. I cut all the parts out, I put them all together and everything like that and tested it. And it went, it went faster than I was expecting, so that was pretty cool. So. How old are you? I am 20 years old. 20? Yeah. Engineering allows me to connect my creative side and my technical side to create something that, uh, at the end of the day, uh, helps others learn, uh, helps me learn, and um, really advances society to something that's more meaningful and more impactful. Uh, we don't, we are. I would say it's very different. Um, it's definitely a culture shock, but at the end of the day, you get used to it, and all the guys that you're with they end up being like your brothers, and I think that's a really positive, positive environment to be in. Um, it definitely requires a lot of self-confidence and the ability to push yourself, even though you might feel uncomfortable sometimes. You just got to keep chugging through it, and at the end of the day, know that you're a good engineer, and no matter what people say, that's you have to be the one pulling yourself through. And having female mentors is something that's really, really impacted me. Yeah, and having someone to look up to, being like, I can do this, is something that's super cool. So I actually have a lot of different female mentors, and none of them, none of them have been very close, um, close friends. They've just been people that I've been at events with, and they've kind of explained what they do and that how they've done it. And that's just kind of seen, not even really having a real mentor, but just seeing other women in engineering and seeing them succeed and be very successful is something that's always kind of inspired me. It's like, I'm not going to be the only one. I may be one of the few, but I won't be the only one. So having something like that, just to see other women and women that are uh, strong and powerful and empowered and not uh, shy away from uh, the arduous. So. challenges. Um, I don't think anything that's very specific. Um, it's just sometimes the environment gets too much. Um, definitely guys are very buddy-buddy and so having to uh, insert yourself in a situation where everyone's
everyone's already friends and you're the odd one out um, can be challenging. But just kind of sticking through it and joking around always helps a little too. So uh, being able to kind of just put put your emotions aside and being able to just kind of stick stick with it um, really helps. Don't get discouraged. Um, I actually mentor uh, a bunch of middle school girls at the Museum of Flight, and so it's just kind of stick stick with your friends and encourage other females. Um, one thing that you kind of notice with, uh, with girls and women in general is that guys are all there for each other, and sometimes girls get get they get me, and so uh, be there for each other and support each other. And a lot of the interest is actually lost in middle school. So girls are just as good at science and math and, as boys, but it's just not encouraged. And so, um, if you have an interest, stick with it. St stick, st like, stay with your dreams. Like, anyone can be an engineer. You just have to put in more work. And so, um, oh, yeah. really stick with it. And you can get it to that 50-50%. Um, I would love to see that. Um, it's interesting how diversity plays a role in engineering. Um, being able to work with a diverse group of people, you have different ideas. And some ideas aren't great, but they can uh, turn into an idea that's really wonderful. So. Engineering, yeah, I don't really know. I don't really have any plans of what I want to do. Um, I want to do something that pushes me every day. Uh, I want to do something that's going to end up end of the day help people, help the world. But honestly, I don't have like an end all goal. Um, I'm really bad at thinking into the future, so I have like oh, it's like one step in a day. I, uh, I like to organize myself using checklists. So I have one big checklist of all the things I want to do, but the really big checklist is nothing. So I don't really know where I want to be in 10 to 20, 15, 100 years. I don't know. I uh, just want to want to have something that pushes me every day and end the day makes me happy. So. I think, I think you guys gave us a couple of boards, which are pretty helpful. Um, we can't do anything without our electrical system. Um, so the pod is completely automated. So without without CR circuits or without um, any electrical equipment, we wouldn't be able to run. And so that's really important. Thank you so much. Yeah.